Hope you can hear me over the pumps. We've got them whirring away in the background. At the moment, we're going through the transfer and the sanitization of the tank over there. And um, all of the hops you would have seen on the intro then, we've got four kilograms of hops to go into 500 litres of beer. And then we'll have another four kilograms of dry hop. I mean, it really is. It really is quite a sight. You look at all those jugs full of hops. I'm really looking forward to the aroma when I put them into the boil kettle at Whirlpool. <laughs> There's nothing going in the boil for 60 minutes, it's crazy. So uh, while I've got your attention for a fraction of a second, we talked about hats. On a few vlogs back, we talked about hats. Um, these are the hats that I've got currently or the hat that I've got and this is the hat that I'm hoping to get uh, embroidered instead you see the difference so if I show you close up you'll see the weave on this one is a lot tighter than this and if you look at the Harrison's Brewery on that bit there you'll kind of see how it's it's getting lost in the fibers and this one, I've been wearing for a couple of days to try and really uh, rough it up. Sharon just said to me, uh, treat it rough. So I have been doing. And quite frankly, it's holding up a lot better than that one. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and order 30 of these and get them embroidered. I think they're going to work out about eight quid a piece. That's, the hats I think are 4 95 and because they are a higher um, spec and the embroidery on top of that as well. I'm not going to make anything off this, I'm just going to do it for you guys. Uh, so if you want a hat, let me know, we'll put your name in the hat and uh, the first 30 or so people to get drawn out can have one posted to them. You just have to pay about 8 quid about eight quid for the hat and shipping, simple. So that's as good as I can do at the minute. I did set up the uh, the clothes to you store, um, but they put a lot of money on top of those clothes and uh, the revenue I get back from that is so small, I have to build up like 60 pounds into the account before I get a payout. It's been running for a year now and I've not had a payout. So. It's, it's not going to work, they're going to basically keep all that money, so it's not something I'd recommend unless your channel is sort of 50,000 plus and maybe you can, you know, command that much uh, sale of merch. I certainly can't, we're just ticking along at just under 9,000 at the minute, so I'm better off doing this kind of thing myself, and like I say, I'm not looking to make anything on it, we'll just pass it straight on to you guys. Anyway, enough of that, if you want a hat, Leave your name in the comments on this video and then we'll touch it, we'll touch upon it again. Uh, I might even be able to put a link somewhere or so. we'll figure something out, we'll figure something out. 
that's better I've turned the pump off much less racket so in order to pass a little bit of time uh, what I'm going to do for an hour or so is go across all of the fittings and the tanks and see if I can come up with uh, upgrades or a shopping list of the stainless steel that I need to get all of these tanks operational and then we'll get a quote from GC and uh, next month when we've got some money in and we've paid the rent maybe we'll start to commission those tanks so we can get maybe loads of these New England IPAs brewed for summer that would be freaking awesome so list compiled it is considerable I think you'll agree so we'll leave that a month or two I'm not ready to start work on the tanks yet anyway I've got too much other things other jobs to do uh, but at least it gives me an indication of what I'm gonna have to spend it's these lever valves I know they're close to £100 a piece hello mate meter man told lad just the comes every month to read meter. I'm pretty sure he's got the wrong one. Anyway, uh, yeah, as I was saying, these valves, upwards of 100 pound each for the two inch RJT male to male. Uh, so we'll just save up for them. And when I've got some time, then I put the order in. But I don't need them yet. I can't, I can't do it yet, physically. I've got too much other work to complete. So, while I'm rabbiting on, I've actually put the, uh, boil onto chill now so we've achieved a 45 minute boil I'm not going to put any uh, kettle finings in any protoflock in there we're just going to see if this uh, stays naturally hazy I don't even think I don't even think I'm going to fine the casks when they come out it is a New England IPA style after all we're down to 86 degrees we'll give it a couple more and then we're going to whack all these hops in all these lot uh, steady and we're going to whack all this lot in and give it 30 minutes that should be sufficient to give us all the bittering that we need for the beer if not well I'm going to have to reflect on what we do but what I don't want to do is over bitter the beer because it's happened to me twice when we started brewing on this kit and well there's nothing worse I don't like an over bitter beer I like mine to be balanced so Using uh, Beersmith, I'm hoping we've hit our numbers with this. Some of the hops are sort of 2015 harvest year, so maybe a little low on alpha acids, uh, but we're still sort of sitting in the middle of the uh, bitterness range on the recipe for an American IPA. So even if we're a little bit low, we should still be within. Might just be a little bit uh, on the multi side. But it's all about the aroma. This is all about the aroma. Another hop charge in about four, five days when fermentation is complete. And then that should hopefully give us a good indication of whether this New England IPA is going to be a winner or it's going to sink like the Titanic. So I've just taken a reading with the old refractometer and it would appear that uh, we're a few points off. We've not achieved the target boil off that I wanted, of course, due to, due to this, I imagine. So we may not, it's 6.1%, we might be closer to five and a half, perhaps. Fingers crossed though, I mean, it's still a good IPA, either way. I could put some dextrose in there, but that's cheating, isn't it? So I'm not gonna bother doing anything like that. And already you can see, we're getting a good hot break or cold break as we're cooling now and uh, the proteins are beginning to coagulate and eventually once we've chilled they'll settle down to the bottom you can also see that there's a bit of a whirlpool going on so a couple more degrees and we'll be popping the hops in a nice uh, impromptu visit from the landlord there anyway time to get these hops in we're down to 80 degrees C So whilst I bring them all up, 
I've just put the whirlpool back on for a second to get it spinning, get a vortex going, you know. And it is. And now I've turned it off. Let's get this lot dumped in. You'll wanna, you'll wanna get in on the action here, I imagine. Oh, baby. There's 500, 500 grams of a mystery hot there. 500 grams of another one. A kilo, a kilogram of another hop here. Check it out. Another 500 of something else. Another 500 of something else. We're not stopping there. Another 500 of something else. Oh, small pallets. Maybe Southern Hemisphere, these ones. And finally, the last 500 grams. Four kilos in there. So remember, the recipe is on the Patreon page. So, whilst the CIP works really well to a certain extent, there are areas in the boil kettle that doesn't quite reach. So, I've been up in the pub, as you can probably tell, for an hour or two, and uh, relaxed and left the pumps down here to do the, f calm down, and left the pumps down here to do the work, but, they can't reach every corner and crevice of the brew tank. So I think there's still gonna be a fair amount of disassembly required to get the brew kettle uh, spick and span for the next brew day uh, every time we brew. Basically there ain't no getting out of stripping the boil kettle down and letting chemicals do the whole cleaning process for you. I, I wish there was. But the reality of it is, we're gonna to have to take the elements out, we're gonna to have to take uh, certain pipe work out and scrub it manually. It's the only way to do it, and it's the best way to do it. But, I'm quite happy to leave that there tonight, tonight being Thursday night, and then revisit this tomorrow morning, being Friday, and my job tomorrow will basically be clean the boil kettle, get it put to bed, because it's gonna be at least another uh, 10 days before we brew them another beer on it. And then we can start on another frigging project. Yes, we can. So, as far as tonight goes, as far as today goes, as far as this vlog goes, if it goes at all, sunshine, <laughs> then we're about ready to frigging wrap up and say, oh, we'll frigging see you tomorrow, bud. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> oh, and don't forget, the recipe is on Patreon. 
And I'm really looking forward to trying this New England IPA. Fucking hell. You and me both, mate. A lot of hops in that bad boy. Good night, children. Good night, children. We'll see you tomorrow. Massive belly, tiny penis. <laughs>